Hello, yo, 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 it's your boy j 4 Peace back with another video, and today, I'm gonna be critiquing someone's tier list today, yes, but before we get into it, if you guys wanna check my second channel, link in the description, and if you guys wanna join my Discord, link in the description as well, so yeah, let's just get straight into it, so, yeah, so, this guy's, this guy's name is Aymin Saleh, <clears throat> sorry if I butchered your name, bro. But he, I think he's a mod or something in this server. I don't really go. I don't really go into Discord like that. Only for inspiration and stuff. So this is a rare. This is always gonna be a rare occurrence for me. But he has a tier list, so I was pretty interested in seeing it. And uh, yeah, so he says now that we have received the long-awaited first ever Dark EX unit, we thought that it's a time is was appropriate for us to take a pause and reevaluate the current state of the meta. The meta game has flipped upside down, to say the least, and the era of the EX Light Beard's dominance over the game has been put to a challenge overnight. So let's explore together what we thought were the best 15 units to use from each class with this new dark light era, starting off with the most popular role, attackers. So we're looking at his attacker tier list. Ooh, so what do you guys think? Now, before I, I start, if you guys want to leave your opinions down below and link, uh, you know, leave your comments down below. You know, I appreciate it. You know, you know what I'm saying. And if you guys want to subscribe, and like and share, that'll also be helpful as well because it'll help you spread the, my uh, channel to into the algorithm. And yeah. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Get straight into this. So, uh, all right. <clears throat> so the first critique I would have to to say is putting ex hybrid Yamato into tier 2 I 100% disagree I think she deserves to be right over Onisanji now better than better than Odin uh wow yeah this I ain't gonna lie this bro this digger butchered this bro bro butchered it bro I'm not even gonna lie bro <laughs> <laughs> bro, you low-key butchered it, bro. I'm not even trying to be mean to bro, but th that is ass, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Like, I have to say it. This is ass. Now, first of all, King at number two spot over Onizoro and Cracker right now in this meta is crazy. You're going to have to put King number four. Like, I understand a lot of you love King, okay? And unless you have a boost four, ultra boost four, and you're a big-ass whale of, of King... Then there's no way in life you're putting King in number in, in number in second place. Okay, especially in this meta. Like I've seen so many kings getting destroyed in this meta right now. And he's still he's still powerful. He I seen kings destroy other niggas. Don't get me wrong. Because of his high attack damage, it's crazy. But he's also he can also get destroyed himself. You know? And in my opinion, King is going to be right behind Cracker and Zoro. I think Cracker and Zoro right now are very much needed in this meta. Especially with the stun and whatever. Unless you're good at perfect dodging with King. At a, like every single time you like to perfect dodge and you get you know, you know get the three extra dodges. Unless you're godlike with your perfect dodges. Then you, you're not being in number. You're not being top four. You're not being top three in my opinion. You're going to be behind Zoro and Cracker. And we've been seeing a lot of them lately. And I heard his reasoning saying that, he, he, you know, Cracker could be cornered or whatever. Yeah, but those are bad Cracker players. Bad Cracker players all the time. You know what I'm saying? And um, for me, King is definitely going to be number fourth on this, on this list. Next, um, Hybrid Yamato is definitely going to be over Oni Sanji. Sanji, I think Sanji... Sanji... Uh, Sanji, I'm going to have to put him in Tier 2. Now, I understand because Oni Sanji is a counter to Roger. I can understand why he put him in tier one. Sanji is a counter to Roger. If you guys if you guys didn't know, alright? But what you need to also take into consideration, he's a glass cannon. Alright? He's a glass cannon. You're not just gonna only be facing Rogers and Rayleigh's. You're gonna be facing a lot of different types of characters. This meta this meta is pretty it's pretty diverse. It's pretty. I'm gonna say balanced because there's a lot of EXs, but it's a, it's pretty diverse, and there's a lot of characters that could take out Sanji with a snap, all right? And Sanji's not that durable. He only he could build his durability, but in the early stages of a game, 
which is very important, he's not that durable. And most people, they will target Sanji. I see a lot of niggas, they'll target you immediately as soon as you get on. Because they know, they don't want you building your defense up. And Sanji is, uh, he's not that, he, he, he's not that durable. I wish he was durable if Bandai made him better, but they didn't. So EX Summer for me, EX Summer Two for me is gonna be right behind um, Odin. Sanji is gonna be in tier two. Um, for tier one, uh, I was gonna say Filmed Shanks over Odin. Well, I was gonna say Odin over Filmed Shanks. Uh, in my opinion, I'm gonna have to put Odin over only only uh, over um only film. Pfft. Oh my, what's wrong with me, bro? Odin over Shanks. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because, like, I know Shanks is, he could counter Whitebeard. He could counter almost every, he could counter Whitebeard. He could counter whatever. But I, I think people forget to understand that Film Red Shanks, he gets countered by Oni Zoro. And there's a lot of Oni Zoros in this meta right now. You know, I've seen a lot of Filmer Shanks recently. I've been using Oni Zoro mostly. My teams, if you guys know my teams are right now that I'm using is Odin, Whitebeard, um, Zoro, and King. Uh I've been using Hybrid Yamato and Claw. Yeah. Uh I yeah, and, and more other units. But Zoro, I've been cutting, I've been butchering Filmer Shanks with Zoro. Alright, so for me, that's the only flaw. For me, the reason why Odin is in number one for me in tier one is because he's immortal on the treasure flag and he could gain back his HP. There's lots of times where I've clutched a lot of moments. And my Odin, I'm just letting you guys know, my Odin's only level 85. He's not even maxed out. I have a maxed out film Red Shanks. And I have a great metal set on him and everything. Alright? So I'm telling you this with a I'm just telling you this right now. I like to use Odin more. He just feels more powerful. He counters, remember, remember, he's more powerful than all three colors. So, you know what I'm saying? I understand, yeah, I know, um, Rayleigh and, and Roger, but there's, you're, you're always going to have teammates that are going to always nullify them. And plus, if you can't, if you could catch a Roger lacking, pss, it happens. So, you know what I'm saying? So, as long as you, as long as you're, don't play like a dumbass with Odin, then you should be good. Um, EX, Luffy, and nami for me i'm gonna still put ex luffy over nami in tier two i think ex luffy i think is pretty underestimated he's do he does more he does more damage to her i've seen a lot of ex luffy's in this meta recently i've seen i've seen a few people shout out to y'all me, me, me myself included i love ex luffy and i like to use him as well he's still very powerful you just need to play carefully with him same thing with oni nami oni nami is you have to play very careful with her she does a lot of high damage but you just have to be play very careful but other than that i i i, I put ex luffy over oni nami in my opinion now for tier four, tier th sorry, sorry, tier three, tier three, I pretty much agree with this, all of it, pretty much, relevant units, tier three, wow, um, yeah, uh, hold on, this Shanks here is definitely gonna be in tier three, bro, if you're not gonna put him in tier two, I will put him in tier three, right now, tier three, I can understand the status effect units, but people have to understand that with Paris Pearl, that there's also a lot of units that are immune to status effect. So, I think some people are overestimating Paris Pearl a little bit. You gotta chill, bruh. You gotta chill. In my opinion, you gotta put Shanks over Paris Pearl, under Roger, and under and under Uta. And I'll just add Shanks in the middle right here, in my opinion. But other than that, pretty good. So now we move on to runners right now. So in my opinion, right now it looks pretty decent. You know, you have Claw, you have Roger. I think in my opinion, Claw and Roger are both interchangeable. So I think it just depends on how you guys play. I love Claw personally. If you have Claw, in my opinion, and you don't like Roger, you're you're fine. You're not missing out on anything. Personally, uh, Kaido, yeah, perfect. Tier 2. Um, <clears throat> uh, perfect. 
I, I think Holy Jones is pretty underrated. I think you need to put Holy Jones a little bit higher, in my opinion. As a matter of fact, I'll put EX Odin. <clears throat> I love EX Odin. I love EX Odin. Should I? No, I put EX Odin. Uh... <sighs> e... I wonder, should I put EX Odin under Holy Jones? What do you guys think? I'll let you, I'll let you guys decide. I don't know. Because Odin, he, he could be really, really dangerous, bro. He could be very, very dangerous. Especially especially with this white beard and Roger Meta. It's it's very important to get that middle flag. And Odin's one of the quickest people to get that middle flag. And give us some sort of advantage. So, I I would definitely... I think I'd say that's okay for now. A uh, Tier 3, Shiki. Uh, Marco. Okay. Now, this is my opinion here. Marco, it has to be over Boa Hancock. I think people still... Marco, right now, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated runners right now. And in my opinion, I would put him in Tier 2 right now. I will put him in Tier 2 right now. Yes. Yes, you heard me right. Some people say, oh, only Marco needs a buff. No, he does. No, the fuck he does not. No, the fuck he does not, bro. If you... My, my Marco, I think, is level 95 or level 100, if I'm not mistaken. So, it's like... Between those two, he's very tanky. One of the most tankiest runners in the game right now. And he, he, he's... Unless you know how to use him... You know, he's not a kill. He doesn't kill. He doesn't kill characters. His, his main plan is get treasure and distract opponents and bother them. He's he's very, 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 very amazing right now. In my opinion, he's in tier two, right under Hody Jones, right behind the, with Hody Jones. Um, I would put Bounty Festival Usopp right there in tier three. He's very underrated right now. Raiju, Raiju is very underrated too, but... Uh, I think that's just good for now. I think she's there good for now. The the, the the crow guy, I don't even have him, so I can't really fully, fully judge, bro. But he just seems okay. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into the last section. Defenders. Yes, yeah, sir. So we get into the last spot here. Defenders. I like how I spent most of the video on attackers. <laughs> well, huge debate on attackers, but yeah. By the way, don't guys, don't guys, don't take offense to this. I'm, I'm just, I'm just giving you my guys my opinion, and my pers my personal opinion, and you guys always share your opinion down below, and I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, we'll see here. Uh, White Beard, Gear Five, Luffy, and Big Mom. In my opinion, I love White Beard, I love Big Mom, but right now, Gear Five, Luffy is number one right now. Yes, I said it. Ever since Roger came in, at first I put White Beard number one, but Ever since Roger came in, Gear 5 right now is mandatory in your team, number one. And as, and as long as you play him properly, you will win games, all right? He will put, he was, he's able to push up front, he's able to defend, and he's also able to push. So, so that's what you want. With Whitebeard, you kind of feel limited. You, you, you can only do so much. If your team is not getting that treasure, my God, I pray for you, bro. I pray for you. Plus, EX Luffy, uh, Gear 5 Luffy, he's immune to stun. So you should be really, you should be good. Anyway, tier one with, yeah, Bello Betty is very underrated. She's very good. Uh, Zaf has definitely come back into the meta. Yes, he's 100% going to be there. Thank, thank, I, I thank you for showing um, him love. Garp, he's really good. I love him. But you need to put Rayleigh in the tier one spot. Yes, I said it. Rayleigh is, is, is actually pretty good right now, bro. As a matter of fact, he's really, really good. Very underrated. I don't know if you're the guy, the guy trying to underrate my brother. In my opinion, Blue Uta right now, in my opinion, is... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Blue, Blue Uta is behind Momonosuke. I don't know what you is doing, bro. Damn. Momonosuke mad underrated right now, bro. So, right now, I'll put Rayleigh in Tier 1. I'll put him in Tier 1. All right. Then, with Blue Uta... I would put her behind Momonosuke. Momonosuke is very tanky. He's very tanky. A lot of people don't understand that. He's very tanky, but he can also put he can also teleport to other flags and deny you from capturing the flag. Which is very important in this meta. Especially with Roger. He is very mandatory. If you do not have him, try and upgrade him. Me, I'm trying to upgrade bro right now. So he D D D. You know what I'm saying? Uh um. Uh, Oni Kid, yeah, he's really good right now. I think he's very underrated. Um, Brooke, underrated, but 
um, uh, um, we're gonna have to, uh, criticize bro again. Treble is nowhere near a tier 3 unit. I don't know where you got this from, my nigga, but tier 3 is crazy, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I love you, bro. God bless you, but that that's, that's absolutely ass. Treble, for me, is tier 1. He's a tier 1 defender, bro. I've been seeing Trebles, and they will literally fuck up your entire game. I will... I Word to my mother, bro. They will fuck up your entire game, Okay? They will fuck up your entire game. Let me say that again. They will F up your entire game. He's tier one. He's behind. He's behind. Um, Yeah, I put Rayleigh here. With Garp here. And I'll put Trouble right here as well. In tier one. You're not You're not putting Trouble here in tier three. That's just crazy, bro. All right. Um, Frankie. Yeah, it's, all right. It's all right. Frankie. Bro. Uh, thing. Uh, page one. I think he's very underrated right now. I think he's underrated. So I'll put him I'll put him over Ben Beckman in my opinion. He's very under I think he's immune to stun and shit, so I'll definitely put him Oh well, yeah, well it, wait, is Ben Beckman immune to stun? Someone let me know. And uh relevant units, you have Yasop. He's okay. Judge. Uh mm -hmm, Jimbe. And uh yeah. Uh I put Judge behind Jimbe, in my opinion, right now. I love Judge. He's very tanky. And I know he's very underrated, too. He's a very underrated defender. If you guys haven't used him, try him. He's very underrated. But in my opinion, especially with the, the, the amount of runners right now and the fact that we need a power user to destroy other power users or whatever, you know, I know Roger's not a power user. Dark Roger's not a power user. And Razor's not a dark power user. But still, I think Jim Bay is, 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 I think when it comes to damage and everything, he's, he's just a lot better, in my opinion. So I put him behind Jim Bay. But other than that, yeah. I think that's it, man. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm wrong? Do you guys think I'm an ass? Do you guys think I'm whatever? Let me guys let you let me know. God bless you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And peace.